my favorite things, uh, restaurants and meditation. <laughs> uh, I've been working in restaurants for the past 17 years, and 17 years is a really long time to be doing just one thing. Um, but my ambition for greatness kept me going for a really long time. That is until I started feeling burnt out over the past couple of years, which obviously a lot of you can relate. Usually with daily practice and excellent training, you become excellent at what you do. Athletes practice every single day so that when they step on the field or the court, their muscle memory kicks in. For me, my muscle memory created dullness and boredom in the career that I loved. Then I found meditation. And while there's so much science and research as to why you should meditate, it's all great. There's something that I found really special, and that's the preparation that goes into meditation. There's so much care brought into the actual act of meditation that we do the six preliminary practices before we sit down. So first we prepare our space, then we make these beautiful offerings, then we sit and invite in a teacher who has all of the knowledge and skills that we desire. We rejoice in our good actions with them and then we dedicate all of that to all beings everywhere. I realized these steps sounded familiar. It's what I was doing every single day in order to open up a restaurant. First, we clean and prepare the space. Usually that's done behind the scenes, but we're always sweeping, we're always folding napkins, we're polishing silverware, we're polishing glassware. Then we make the space really inviting and sexy with our offerings. We place candles down, we place flowers down. Usually the lighting is set to different uh, intensities throughout a service. Usually there are specific playlists that are set in order to carry the dinner service throughout the evening. Then we sit down as a group and invite in the leadership from the restaurants. So the chefs and the managers quiz us on new wines. They introduce us to new ingredients. We celebrate each other and use that time as inspiration. Then the final step, we open our doors to others and invite them in. That's our dedication to everyone else. It's so simple that I almost missed it. And it's something that we can do every single day, whether or not you work in a restaurant. Will Guidera of 11 Madison Park said that he interviewed someone and asked them how they define hospitality. This person said that service is black and white. Hospitality is color. So allow the meditation practice and the preparation that we use to take the blinders off of muscle memory. If you're practicing every single day, allow that to infuse your life with color. Thank you. Yeah.